Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, we will be upcycling a wooden pallet into a DIY all-terrain cam tram cart that can also be used as a pallet transport supporting up to 600 pounds. This project takes about 45 minutes to complete and costs less than $40. This pallet measures 41 inches by 36 inches and it's in pretty good condition. These are inexpensive 10 inch diameter tires that cost less than $5 each. You can pick them up at Harbor Freight or off of the internet. These tires have a surprisingly good bearing for the cost but still require an axle. The best off the shelf axle for these tires is one half inch CPVC or the yellowish PVC designed for hot water. CPVC has a smaller diameter than regular white PVC and fits perfect inside the tire bearing. Since PVC and CPVC are not designed for load bearing applications, the pipe cannot support much weight and will easily flex or bend when weight is applied. This is a solid steel all thread that is one half inch in diameter by 36 inches long and is available at most major hardware stores. The all thread is a nice fit inside the CPVC and stays in place without any glue. Now it's time to do some building. Using two 8 foot long 2x4s, cut them to the length of the pallet. You're going to need four rails for this project. Mark a line on the pallet 4 and 1 quarter inches from the outer edge. This distance allows for the tire to remain under the cart and not protrude out. Generously apply an outdoor high quality wood glue to the length of the rail and clamp it in place. You want to make sure that your rail is straight so that you will not have a crooked cart. Pre-drill some holes in the pallet and secure your rails in place with wood screws. Once both rails are in place, glue and screw additional small blocks of wood between the pallet layers on all four corners. These blocks share the weight load to the top of the pallet preventing the bottom pallet beams from taking the entire load and breaking. Since 2x4s are not really 4 inches, they're actually 3.5 inches, they stack up to equal 7 inches tall. For the next step, cut 4 pieces of 2x4, 7 and 1 quarter inches long to make the attachment rails. Making them a bit larger will help prevent wood splitting in an upcoming step. At this point, the attachment rails are mounted only to the second level or the piece of rail that is not attached to the pallet. Because this process needs to be done on all four corners, it needs to be as perfect as possible. A small piece of wood measuring two inches acts as a guide for all four attachment rails. Securely glue and screw these together for a permanent fix. This is a template guide I made out of a piece of plastic. If you don't have a piece of plastic, you can use cardboard or paper. Measure 4 inches from the edge and 1 inch from the side, then drill a small hole for the guide. Using a 5 8 inch paddle bit, drill as straight as possible to create a hole all the way through. This provides a support for the steel filled CPVC axle to snugly fit into. Repeat this step 4 times so all the rails have holes in the same location. These rails should fit securely like a puzzle piece to the first rails attached to the pallet. Add wood glue and screw securely in place. I drilled some larger holes in the center of the bottom rail to allow shorter wood screws to lock the middle portion of the rail in place. Once the second set of rails are securely attached to the pallet, clean out any wood debris and place the two steel filled CPVC axles in the 5 8 inch holes. If you did everything correctly, they should line up perfectly. I have a large pile of reclaimed PVC pipe. I'm looking for a regular piece of 1 half inch PVC to show you a neat trick. CPVC fits snugly inside of regular white PVC of the same diameter with a little help. Bore the interior of regular white PVC pipe out using the same 5 8 inch paddle bit. Since the paddle bit can bind, be sure not to use an electric powered drill. I'm using a rechargeable drill with a clutch set to a weak level. The half inch CPVC is now a snug fit inside the regular white PVC. I've actually used this little hack to join CPVC together when I was out of regular fittings. Now it's time to cut the bored out white regular PVC. I'm using a chop saw, but I recommend you use a pipe cutter. If you do opt for the chop saw, wear proper eye protection and cut slowly to prevent the pipe from shattering. You'll need to make eight rings roughly one half inch long. 
place one ring on the inside of the axle, then attach the tire. This ring will provide a bit of extra space, preventing the tire from rubbing against the frame and also giving the bearing something solid to press against versus softer wood. The remaining four rings get a 1 8 inch hole drilled in them at an angle. The angle keeps the wider part of the tire out of your way when securing the rings with a small screw. These rings should squeeze the bearing together so that the tire does not wobble. This is how the completed build should look. It's an extremely stable card and adding an extra pallet to the top allows for easy transport and removal with a forklift. This card's designed to travel in a straight line. That makes turning difficult, but it is the perfect height for leveraging turns using a traditional dolly cart. In future videos, we'll be making a true Camtram styled rail system, a mobile pallet with a steering system, a motorized version, and one that can support up to 2,000 pounds. This is a simple way to upcycle a pallet into an all terrain mobile pallet cart. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Mm -hmm.